Say goodbye to hours of research and use GPT Researcher, your AI made for rapid insights and comprehensive research. GPT Researcher takes care of everything from accurate source gathering to organizations of research results, all in one platform designed to make your research process a breeze. Believe it or not, by using just three simple prompts now we have a full research report. In this digital age, quickly accessing relevant and trustworthy information is more crucial than ever. However, we've learned that none of today's search engines provide a suitable tool that provides factual, explicit, and objective answers without the need to continuously click and explore multiple sites for a given research task. GPT Researcher takes care of the tedious task of research for you by scraping and aggregating over 20 plus web sources for a single research task. It is an exciting tool that I've been wanting to dive into for a while so it's another GPT-based autonomous agent that we can use to create research reports for US based on a single prompt so highlight for the architecture you provide a task, it will generate research questions for us, and then it will summarize all of the visited websites, so it will use actual information from website not just from the trained open AI models, for example to get factual information and then it will aggregate that into a research report so very exciting and we're going to put it to the test see if it is actually useful i'm going to look at the code to try and do this but the nice thing is this they also made it available in a nice web portal so you can just go to this website i will leave the link in the description and you can put in your openai api key with gpt4 access so that is a must that is the only requirement that you need in order to follow along so you can use it through the browser so if you're not interested in the coding side of things just use this and you can try it out yourself. Since I set it up in my environment, I can see in the logs all the URLs it went through, so it also says on the get the page goes over 20 web sources which is pretty impressive, and then here we can see we now have their research report and we can either copy this to clipboard or we can download it as the PDF. This is amazing, right? We now have a report large language models and overview even with a source over here, we can see an article that it used, it lists references the article I should say the report in 2023 very interesting I expected it to. Include more references since we did went over 2020 something URLs let's dive it a little bit deeper to see how it actually got to this information because we can find some more because if we look this is the cool thing about using the local version we can open up this folder and we can see some more information. So here are all the research questions. So you have advantages and disadvantages other large language models work use cases and also what is a large language model and then here you can see also the URL that it got its information from. So this is quite interesting, something I thought I have to look into so it's generating text files and then it's combining it into a report, so here you can also see some additional information. So we have things like total work and time total run times as you can see this took 15 minutes so it's not a press of a button and it's completed it really does some extensive research scraping all the information from the site but this is of course only just the first try and I'm really going to read through this. Now see if it actually makes sense also go through the other materials and then also run some more experiments and get back to you. Another good thing to note is costs of course so if we look into this this first iteration here you can see this costs like 50 cents or so with some trial and error so probably a little less because I ran into some bugs the first time. Okay so I've read through the report I've also done another iteration where we were using so this is actually the third one so I did one with the resource report and I'm now running an outline report. It is very useful tool. For example research for these videos that I'm creating or research for educational content that I create where I just have an idea like hey I want to research something on this, let GPT help me with that so that's one thing just general research, I think it's actually pretty solid a very solid tool to do that. But what I also find interesting is actually looking more into the code actually behind the scenes and what's going on and then, for example, look into that prompts that they're using to create this and more specifically the research agent itself and what would like to experiment with is use the underlying technology and principles that they're using over here to maybe create some kind of like automated content but this is something I've really been interesting to explore and to create and maybe using the techniques that they're using over here you can like every day do some quick research on a certain topic and then try to create I don't know a tweet or an email newsletter or whatever kind of like content about that and in doing so you can get or for example list various resources websites trusted resources that you would like to get information from and in this way you have you can create content in a very controllable way and avoid hopefully a lot of hallucination if we just use the main models that have a training cut off somewhere 2021 so i think that could be quite interesting to see if we can look at the underlying code everything that's going on get some elements and turn that into a content generation bot so those are really the two ways 
You can use this tool so do quick research and get some nice PDFs that you can use for yourself or share with someone else or use this tool since it's all open source. Do you really understand? What's going on and try to extract some features from it turn it into some kind of an application. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.